I guess another miraculous kind of story that just kind of taught me the power of everything is um, I had been learning about Christ-like attributes in my first area, and it, this was right after my training. And I hadn't seen a baptism, or I'd seen two, but um, I was just like, can we get one more at least? I've been here six months, <laughs> let's just, can I get one more maybe? And um, I really started to learn about humility and just like it's the Lord's will. And so I just started working on that and being patient and just trying to make sure I put the Lord first. And we were in a city called Akosimbo, which um, after I left, there ended up becoming missionaries there. And um, we were in the market, <laughs> getting on a trotro, getting squished in, and we were already crammed in there. And um, this man came and pulled one of the elders out of the trotro and was like, can you tell me something about your church? And that's all he could get out of his face. And the man that was, they call him a mate, he's the one who sits in the trotro and shuts and opens the door. He grabbed this missionary and just throws him back into the trotro. And I was like, wait, no, we, wait, he's asking about the church. This is good. And then the guy slammed the door and it started to pull away. And we're like, wait. And we threw a Gospel of Jesus Christ pamphlet out the window. And as it went out, I noticed we didn't put our number, we didn't put our address, we didn't put anything on there. It was just a plain pamphlet, and we're like, great, he's never going to find us. We just found a guy interested, never going to find us. And about two weeks passed, and we got a referral from elders in Pong. Pong was farther north, or farther down the road than we were pretty much on the way, and so... They said, we have a referral for you. His name's George. And we were like, oh, okay. And they're like, he's going to come meet you. He's coming to a funeral. He'll meet you on his way th up here from a Kosimbo. We said, okay, then no problem. And we were sitting, we were waiting on the side of the road, and he gets out of the car, and he sees us, and he's like, you two. And we're like, what the heck? You're the guy from the market. And he was like, man, I've been looking for you guys. We're like, really? And he's like, yeah. Um, and we found out from him after all these lessons that he had actually went and he took the church name and he asked every person he saw in a Kosambo if they knew anything about that church, about the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And a man told him, there's one in Pong. So he went right past our branch and he went to the ward in Pong where they then referred him to us. It was just a testimony to me that... Um, he was able to be baptized. He explained to us he had been on all these different um, religions, probably like 30 or 40. He, he had seen everything. And he's like, I know how it's supposed to be. He explained how the restoration should have worked in the true church for a church to be true. He explained the plan of salvation, the gospel of Jesus Christ. And he's like, I cannot find a church with any of these things. When we gave him all the pamphlets, he's like, I know your church is the true church. I want to be baptized in two weeks. And we're like, you got to come to church three times, though. And he was like, I won't go away. And we're like, okay, we trust you. And so we baptized him, and he became the second counselor in the branch presidency in the Senshi branch, which was split there soon after. And he, I believe he is still the, I believe he actually got moved to the first counselor in the branch presidency now. And so that was just miraculous to me that, um, as I was able to be patient that we were able to find somebody like that.